Today, I will be showing you how to thread the Juki MO104D for thread overlock serger. Each spool of thread will align with the respective thread stand eyelet, threading directly above the spool. Let's start with the far right, the lower looper thread. Take the thread with both hands and lay the thread in the groove. Pressing down on both sides of the thread, you will hear a slight click and the thread will be secured. I am going to thread all four of them. It saves me time and I don't have to worry about accidentally catching another thread. We will then open the looper cover by pulling it to the right using the looper cover indent. Once you move it to the right, you'll be able to let it down. We will then thread the thread guide number five. And from here, we'll go ahead and thread thread guide number six. And once this is threaded through, we'll go ahead and thread guide number seven. And once it's through, we can pull it right through. From here, we will need to open the cloth plate. We will then hand crank the wheel and align the lower looper to the left side. From here, we will grab the thread and pull it through to the left side. We will then thread the lower looper guide. We are going to want to make sure that the thread is starting from the back and threading through to the front like so. We will then need to feed the thread through to the other side. Crank the wheel so the lower looper is aligned on the right side. Thread the lower looper eye. Then we're going to need to make sure to pull the thread through so the thread is underneath the presser foot. Once that's done, we will then thread the upper looper, color coded in blue. We will start with thread guide number five, make our way to thread guide number six, followed by thread guide number seven. And finally, thread guide number eight. From here, we'll thread the upper looper eye. Pull the thread through, ensuring it is under the presser foot. We will now begin threading the right side needle, color coded green. Going from right to left, we will pull the thread to the thread guide plate. We will then thread through the take up lever, then back down to the thread guide. Moving down to the needle clamp thread guide, we will thread through the right side. Thread the needle on the right side. Now we're going to thread the left side needle, color coded yellow. From right to left, pull the thread underneath the thread guide plate. Pulling the thread up, it will go over the take up lever, color coded yellow. You'll then go back down to the thread guide and pull it through. From here, we will thread the needle clamp thread guide on the left side. Thread the needle and ensure all four threads are fed underneath the presser foot. Test your sample, and you should have the results like this. If any of these videos have been helpful for your sewing career or hobby, leave a comment and let us know what machine we should do next. Like, subscribe, and share.